If you were on the webinar and you missed some of the slides, the slides will be in the video. And when the uh, when the weekend is finished here, I'm going to take all of my slides from these uh, presentations and I am going to post them together with the video and some mind maps and some other things for you so that you can refer to that uh, you know if you'd like so again you know thank you for coming uh, we're going to be doing something a little different today than I talked about yesterday so a number of things have have, have happened number one uh, we we started with the with the three-day blogathon I for, for for a number of reasons I had to remove the first day's video so we lost some of that content, and I'm going to revisit some of that content here, uh, and it makes perfect sense to do that. Um, number two is I was going to go through this uh, demonstration about how to use a particular piece of software. I think that, that we can you know, actually talk at a higher level than that. There is some really neat demo on the on the on the software website that takes care of that um, I'll be doing some case studies in the future but I think that based upon the feedback I'm getting and some requests that I have had from people who are my subscribers here including some people who are here on the call uh, what you want to know about is a little bit more about content creation and you've shared some of your uh, frustrations and some of your problems and we're gonna we're gonna get to the meat of that matter and so rather than me deciding what you should be interested in I'm going to be uh, you know delivering what you're asking for so uh, you know for those of you who may not know me or who may be watching this on the video uh, I'm Fran Torres and, and I'm going to be talking about some content and it's you know what it's not hard to create content when you really think about it I'm going to share you some shortcuts and some things that you probably or may not have, have heard of um, people have been telling me I don't know what to blog about and and this is something I've been hearing for years and years and years and and we're gonna settle that problem once and for all today and, and just get rid of that as, as an issue altogether uh, you know and I'm going to share with you you know just a way that that you can find out what Google really wants to know you know do you know that Google will tell you what you should write about all you have to do is ask and I'm going to show you how to ask I'm going to show you how to get your answers and then how to use the content and it's really really very very simple when when you know how to do that and and, and I hope you you enjoy that uh, again we're going to talk about you know reasons why you know Google likes relevant content if you have a blog and you are working with a blog then you want to deliver relevant content because that's what Google likes if you give Google what Google likes Google will be nice to you and it will absolutely you know feature you in search engine results Google wants to deliver good search results to people when people are looking for something they want to know that they are going to be giving them what they're really looking for that's very very you know basic common sense um, but it's very important and one of the things that has made this you know actually seem you know like like an easier thing to do than not um, is the fact that a lot of people have been gaming Google for a long time gaming the system and Google has come back with uh, with updates you know we have Panda and Penguin and all these very interesting algorithms and fixes and Google slaps and all kinds of things and I'm going to tell you something I have not suffered any any repercussions with any of those updates I have always blogged the way that Google wants me to blog and and I guess I figured that much out a while ago and actually when when Pend and Penguin happened I started to get much even better search engine results because when they started penalizing and slapping the people who were gaming the system then you know legitimate bloggers and and writers and and people who are publishing really good content um, actually you know had a lot to gain um, so you know Google likes the truth it likes to know that, that you have the truth uh, it likes to have proof that you are credible you know it, it wants to see privacy pages terms of service all of that kinds of stuff all those little legal pages those are really important and, and if you didn't know that and if you don't have those pages you should um, that's important content for those search engine spiders because that is proof to them that you are a legitimate publisher you know putting up a blog publishing a blog writing content and publishing content makes you an online publisher simple as that and one of the things that you have to do is you have to show certain authenticity 
and authority and and you have to show that um, Google will apply the rules to everybody and again Google wants a good user experience um, we're going to do three things mostly today okay we're going to cover three things number one we're going to learn how to read Google clues you know how to tell what Google really wants and how to how to create that and then how to create pillar content so once we have those clues from Google what do we do with that and how can we create content that is impactful that is very very meaningful and that people will you know will will use act upon you know that they will find actionable um, hopefully if we have content uh, we have some pages where there are calls to action that invite people to enter into a transactional relationship with us into a uh, uh, you know if you're a real estate agent you want people to call you to show you a house to sell so that you can help them find a home or, or sell a home for them um, if you're a consultant you want people to to, to come and uh, and ask you for help um, if you're an educator you want to show that you can actually deliver value in your content that you can offer some people a solution to get over uh, issues that they have and get get from point A to point B. My name is Frances Flynn Torson. I am a writer and an author. I've been around real estate for many many years. I've been around magazine publishing for many many years. You know, I actually started writing about technology back in the early 70s, and in those days, technology was a lot different than it is now. There was no internet. We didn't have computers. I was using a manual typewriter to write a weekly column for a newspaper when I was 16. When I went to work on my first magazine, on a, on a magazine as an associate editor in 1971, I had to make the switch to a, uh, an electric typewriter and I found that difficult. I thought, oh, you know, would Hemingway be, be happy with an, electri an, an electric typewriter? I didn't think that, that he would. It just didn't seem like the thing to do. And so I had some struggles even, you know, early on with, with the with word processors and, and other things, but um, they were great. You know, when I when I started working in publishing, I was writing about technology for a magazine called Printing Magazine. And printing at that time was mostly set on hot metal machines. And of course it was all about paper. So I got a lot of really good basic fundamentals and I can remember, you know, the birth of photo typesetting when when uh, you know when when they started to get rid of those fo those big hot metal machines and 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 set type with uh, with phototype and that was amazing i remember the first day or 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 the release and the launch of the very very first and the first time that a computer manufacturer made it possible to create a whole page layout on a CRT screen and that was a company called Mergenthal or Linotype way way back in the early 70s uh, and at that point in time you know this was very very hot uh, newspapers were buying this kind of thing printers were buying this kind of thing uh, I remember when facsimile transmission devices were new I wrote actually an award-winning article on on facsimile transmission uh, and back in the day, when uh, if 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 you could, if you go back that far, you may remember there was a rotating hot rotating cylinder, and it took about four or five pages to transmit each single uh, four or five minutes to trans to transmit a single page from one place to another. It was quite interesting. So I've watched a lot of technology evolve. There are a lot of things about technology that uh, that uh, are interesting to me that I have fun with. I think that we are at a point right now in uh, in technology and with blogs that it's starting to get easier. Um, the whole nature of blogging is changing. It's a whole lot different than when it uh, started, when I started blogging almost 10 years ago. And, uh, and what I'm seeing, honestly and truly, is that we have a lot of people who started blogging some years ago, but, but you know, for all intents and purposes, if you take a look, at what they're doing with their blogs right now, even though they may be, you know, good writers and, and and smart people in their in their fields, you know, they might as well be typing on a, you know, on a, on a manual typewriter uh, for for the good it's going to do on on the web with um, uh, with Google and and it, as far as attracting new business. So it's important to keep up, and happily things are getting easier, and. Uh, 
and, and we'll, we'll just move along here. I'm going to come back here to this slide. I was here yesterday, but I'm going to come back again. Uh, it's about Lori Manny. Lori Manny, of course, was a very, very wonderful, uh, prolific, and smart real estate blogger who we lost four years ago. And Lori Manny was very, very strategic about her blogging. She concentrated on keywords. She built keyword silos. And, uh, and she would own any keyword she wanted just by writing a couple of articles. And, and she declared that. You, know, you can, you can, you can uh, search YouTube for some videos about Lori Manny and you can hear her basically say, if I want a keyword, it's mine. You know, I will write a couple of articles and nobody else will, will have an opportunity to, uh, to, to rank for those keywords as high as I will on Google. She was very assertive about her search engine optimization and she was very, very strategic and very, very smart and she was an absolutely phenomenal blogger. So now, do you want to learn an easy way to create some new fresh content? We're going to talk about that. And, uh, and the solution, again, it's a, it's a lot about, it boils down to time management. I'm hearing this over and over and over again. And, uh, and, and get a new attitude about blogging. So let's work with a little bit of, um, of new language. And again, let's think about the consequences if we don't do something and we don't bring ourselves into the age right now. All right, it's not going to get easier for you if you don't take some action and you don't try something different. All right, you can't continue to do things the way you've been doing them um, because, as I say, if you haven't made advances in your business with technology and new strategies and you're, you know, if you're not working with, with what you we're calling pillar content, if you're not working with keyword silo development, you really need to start thinking about this with, with, this, with this type of language, all right? Um, you're going to fall out of sync with progress. So I know a lot of people who are early adopters, maybe early adopters in blogging, but they're out of sync now and for all intents and purposes they're driving horses and buggies on the web and they're not really, really keeping up. You know, think about this, think about think about how how in sync you are when you when you know that you know that mobile is the way to go, and I can tell you right now when I do an ad on on Facebook, seventy percent of my of my responses are coming from mobile devices. Uh, I'm seeing a lot, lot more mobile. We need to be very, very mobile, and we need to be working a lot with video. So if you aren't spending a lot of the time concentrating on that because you're doing other background stuff, then you know then it's time time to get. Uh, to get back in step and back into sync with progress. Um, and again, buyers and sellers, I'm speaking primarily to real estate agents I know, buyers and sellers are going other places. They're not doing business with the people who sold them their houses initially. We're, we can see that in all of the studies that NAR does. Uh, people are very, very happy with their real estate agents. About 80 some odd percent of people would say, said they would do business with that agent again, but the agents lose touch. And people are just spread very, very thin, and they, uh, you know, it, it's just not something that that they're making part of their business, and so there's not going to be another chance. So let's see if we're, there's a way to solve some of this and get back in touch with some of this. Let's see here, where am I? I like it much better when I can work with PowerPoint regularly, but I don't want it to happen. What happened yesterday? All right. So okay. So here's here here's what we're gonna. Well, that was yesterday's. We 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 already know what we're gonna do today. We're not going to reverse engineer the blog. We're going to talk about. Let me see here. Where are we going? The thing we're doing today. We're gonna read the Google clues. We're gonna do that right now. Then we're gonna create pillar content and then talk about how to use smart automation. So let me do a quick check in. Make sure everybody can hear me. I see we've got some new people. Hello everybody. This will be available on a replay right afterwards. No problem. And because I see we have a whole bunch more people here right now, I'm going to make these slides available also as soon as this uh, this is over. And by tomorrow those should all be posted. Um, these are very, very exciting times. Okay, so let's go. Let me go. Let's see here. Let me go over to full screen and we're going to go right to Google so we're going to talk here now about the kind of stuff that Google you know clues about what Google is looking for um, you know what does Google want 
when you are publishing and let's say you're talking and, and, and you know that you're getting people who are visiting your website because they're looking at your school district, right? You know that people are coming and they're going because they want to know about the schools. Well, it, I'll use my own little town here as an example um, because the case, in the case study that I'm going to be doing shortly is going to be about Happy Valley here in Pennsylvania and State College. So I'll use, I'll use my own little town here as an example. Penn State is, is located here in State College. And I know that uh, I have a new blog about Happy Valley. So let's let's just say we are going to be writing a blog post about State College, PA. All right. So people want to know the news. They want to know about State College, PA. Uh, they want to know about State College housing. All right. When you click on on here when you do a search and again this is a little clue here for you let's take a look at this for a second when you do a search on Google what will come up here will be a list of the most popular searches on Google and that gives you a clue right there about what people are looking for so if you know that people are looking for state college housing market they want to know about the market that's a pretty good clue that that market data is going to work they want to know information about the housing authority and they want to know about housing for rent. And of course, this is where we are, you know, where you know we are Penn State. Penn State is located here. So there are a lot of interesting possibilities in the real estate uh, for real estate content, aren't there, when you take a look at this. You can take a look at this and you can see, uh, I mean, what comes to mind instantly is, uh, you know, financing for students and uh, you know and and how they can work with FHA what do they, we used to call that um, kitty kitty condo financing and there still is a way that students can come in parents can co-sign they can get their name on the deed and I know the here in State College that would be a very very those are very good articles because there's very restrictive zoning in the residential areas here where where you have to be an owner occupant uh, to be living in a house in certain areas, very very close to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, campus. So let's take a look here, and let's say you know you want to write about you know the state college housing market. <clears throat> well, first of all, I would recommend that you, you know, of course, you know you take a look here at the articles, um, and <clears throat> you know think about what you're going to be talking about and, and what, what you want to address and consider it some type of content curation strategy. Now I'm not going to get into a whole lot of content curation here because that's a whole big, big issue, but you can take four or five pieces of content and easily repurpose that into, a, into an article. All right, so here it, it, it gives me some good stuff to work with about the article, all right, about, about the market. And at the bottom here, take a look at, um, at this right here. Now I'm going to pull up Notepad. I don't know if you're going to see my Notepad, but uh, but I tell you what, I will pull up a new. Um, whoopsie Daisy. I think I'll pull up a new um, slide on my PowerPoint, and I will use that for pasting. How about that? I will give that a white background. And we can use that to paste. How about that? All right. So what we see down here at the bottom are there are other searches that Google offers that are also very, very interesting. These are all very, very relevant, aren't they? State college real estate, state college foreclosures, state college mortgage rates, state college houses for rent. All right. These are all very, very interesting. You know what? I see I, I am going to be able to do this. So let me pull up my notepad. I prefer to do this with notepad. All right, I've got my notepad. All right, we've got a number of searches here that are telling me, all right, that this is what Google is telling me people are looking for the most. So I'm going to go and I'm going to copy those searches over into a notepad because what does that give me? That gives me a list of topics with keywords that are all very, very relevant, that all matter. Um, and that Google is already telling me are, are, are important. So when I take a look at the total number of, of results here, there are like 33 million results, you know that this is, these are significant searches. 
So I am going to keep that in a file. All right, I'm going to keep that in a file, and I'm going to be coming back to that. And as I'm planning my content, I'm going to work with that. Uh, so you know, so how are we going to work with that? Um, number one is we can write right. Number one is we can write articles. All right, every article should include text, and if they don't, you know, Google really doesn't like those real, real short, short uh, articles anymore. You want to have at least 500 and up to up to about 700 words, and if it goes longer than that, you know what? That's not a problem. Google likes long articles. You know, let's listen to that. Google likes long articles, and that's one of the one of the reasons I think I never fell out of favor because I always did a lot of with long articles. And there was a time when everybody I remember there were all of these guys uh, in the real estate dot net who said no more than two hundred to three hundred words is too much. Blah blah blah. Well, guess what? They're all singing a different song right now. Because that was never really what Google said, um, and to give it, give it, you know, give it, give it a good uh, go with with text. Every article should have a photo. All right, it should be totally optimized. That means give your photo a title. Um, give your total, give your photo a title. Um, make sure you fill in, you know, the alt tags. Because they read that. Uh, if you want to give it a caption, again, that is something that's going to work in the search engines. I don't do a lot with captions, um, but I make sure that I have title tags and alt tags on pretty much everything. The other thing you want to do is you want to make sure you list your keywords. Make sure that you have four sub keywords on every on every piece, all right? And if you're going to be writing a collection of articles like here, a series of articles, I might say, you know, creating a, a silo, make sure that you focus on those and, and just kind of share them back and forth. Make sure you work with different variations of your keywords. Uh, make sure that you write some tags as well. Um, but the keywords, you don't really need more than four, uh, but they should be very, very strategic, all right? Um, you've got your tags. Make sure, all right, nine times out of ten, you want to be sure you have a video on your page. If you don't have videos on your on your pages right now, go back and put some on. They don't have to be your videos. You can go to video, you can go to YouTube and you can find videos about just about anything over there. Just stick it at the bottom of the article. Um, it is something that Google loves. The authority from from those videos is going to be uh, you know, leaching over to your blog, it's going to be picking up a lot more juice. Try to find videos that are really relevant that your people will like, and if they are the most popular on a topic on Google, pick it up and put it over. You know, take the embed code or whatever you use to put videos on your blog, and uh, and do that because that's not going to hurt you. It's not going to take anything away. Um, if you really want to get fancy with the video, then you know, then just above it, you know, do an H1 or an H2 tag for you, for the title of the video. And again, make sure when you do that that it's relevant, and maybe that will contain some of those your your main keyword or one of the sub keywords that you're using. So so take a look at that, um, and then look at other kinds of content for your blog. So uh, articles, as I say, that's just one way of dealing with a, uh, a list of things. There are all kinds of ways of dealing with a list of things. One of the most popular ways of, of working with content, and you know, it's really not the most popular way of working with content, but it's something that Google absolutely adores, and that's infographics. And infographics are very, very hot because they just love them. They're, they're really great content. People like them. They're very shareable. People go and they share them on Pinterest. They share them on Facebook. They share them all over. So how do you, you know, how do you do infographics? Well, there are two ways of doing infographics, and one is by writing them or creating them yourself, right? That takes a little bit of time. I mean, there's some places that make it easier, but the other way to do that is by, 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 by taking somebody else's, and you can do that very, very quickly, and and, and in a really great way, and really 
beef up your SEO with infographics. We're going to show you that in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to show you a very, very easy way because I have made infographics a very, very important part of my content plan. It's a very, very important part of my content planning. I do more and more infographics now. I'm not doing too many myself, but I'm using them and I'm using them effectively. I'm going to share that with you shortly here. Uh, the other thing is video. Boy, if you're not doing video, okay, yet, you need to. All right, you really need to be doing your own video. You need to get a YouTube channel going, and you need to be doing that because it's if you're not, it's it's a big mistake. Um, as I say, you can use other people's video to help you, but video is getting easier and easier to create. There are new video tools that are they're, they're fun, they're, they're easy, and uh, and and Google just loves them, and they rank very, very quickly. Um, they rank very, very quickly. I have created, a, my goodness, a whole bunch of videos, probably almost 30 in the past week and a half or so. There's a new uh, video maker out um, that's very, very easy, and I've created a bunch of them for myself and for some other people, and they're just very easy. And some of those videos have ranked on Google, you know, on, um, on Google, just in inside of moments, um, you know. One of the things you want to look for when you're, you know, looking at your keywords. I want you to think about something. When you look at a keyword and you and you take a look at the first page of of, of uh, video, see what there is here, and and if there are videos on the page. All right, I'm looking at state college housing market, and I see one video on that page, and it is a video produced by. Nissa Smith. Nissa Smith is a real estate agent in town. She's a dynamite lady. She's a friend of mine and she's smart and she does video. She has a very short video here and when people go in State College and they want to look at the, for the, any information about the State uh, College housing market, there she is, front and center. Now that's a, um, a you know a minute video, a minute, minute and a half video. Look at this. She's had 656 views on that. And it's dynamite. It's really, really, very, very good. So I know Nissa has been doing this for a while, and she's a very, very smart lady, and she does a really neat job. And that's something that you can do. Look, she's got a very, very nice little intro here. You see that? I mean, she's been doing this for a bit. This is back in 2012, and then a little intro. See that? Dynamite. Very, very smart. And you can do that very, very easily now. It used to be a lot harder. I'll share some links and some, some information. There there was a video maker that made a big splash. It was the biggest software sales uh, item of all time in, you know, in, uh, so, in, in the software market. It came off the market. I'm guessing a couple weeks ago, and it's coming back on the market very, very shortly. I just got word about that, so I'm I'm excited. I know a lot of people were unhappy they missed that, and again, I'll I'll, I'll share some links with that later. All right, so we are talking. All right, so we talked about the infographics. Okay, we talked about video. You need to be doing video, and the other thing is is you know creating what we call engagement boards. I'm not going to get real, real deep into this, but an engagement board uh, is kind of like a top ten. It's a, it's a, it's a cur kind of like a curated um, a curated page of some sort. And, and again, this is most commonly used with some curation elements. You may do a top ten of something and, uh, and and offer you know maybe 10 videos 10 pictures 10 something you know in, in the way that uh, Huffington Post does you know Huffington Post does a lot of great stuff where they show pictures you know 20 pictures of, of the of the new little prince blah 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 those are highly engaging those are engagement boards um, I'll show you an example a couple of things that I do here and then I'm going to show you how I do them one of them okay here we are at my website this is pretty much my my main website this is the realty gram and um, and I'm gonna I gotta, I gotta tell you I I've started working with infographics the number of people that are coming to my blog uh, based on the infographics is unbelievable um, and I'll show you how I do that I have a menu here where, where I can link to them um, and then I'll show you a couple of neat things I'll show you First of all, how I create one. How about that? Let me say. Let's say I want to create a um, 
I want to create my a, a new infographic and I want to find one online because you know you can use other people's infographics you just have to use embed code and I'm going to go here online and let's say I want to uh, I'm going to be doing it for my blog here so it's about real estate so I may be talking about real estate software okay maybe there's a real or real estate technology how about that real estate technology I want to find something with the word embed, all right, because I want it to be embeddable and I want it to be an infographic. So I want to find a, a an infographic about real estate technology. You may want to find an infographic about financing, about uh, housing statistics, about anything pretty much. So I'm going to take a look at that. And um, technology, I'm going to pick one of these. For sale by owner infographic. 30 tools real estate owners use to uh, up the game. Let me see what that one looks like. That could be interesting. From Inman. All right, there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? All right, do they have an embed code? I'll bet they do at the bottom because that's what I want. No, they don't. What the heck is that? Um, if they don't have embed code, I'm not going to take it. All right. Um, I'll find another one. Let's see. The Real Estate Marketer's Guide to eBooks. 30. Maybe this one. Let's see. 30 tools web developers use. This is the same one. That's the same one. All right. Well, they're ranking. You see, they're ranking for the infographics there. Um, Boomtown. I bet Boomtown has an infographic. They have a guide. Let's see here. Pull that up. Inbound marketing. Yeah. Let's see. They do. All right. There we go. All right. So there is a a neat infographic. I'm going to take that because that really works for my blog, doesn't it? So I'm going to copy that embed code. Uh, what the embed code does is, of course, it lets you put the infographic on the page and it also gives a link back to the, to the people who created it. And, and that's part of the deal. You know, you, you agree to do that, to give a link back. And of course, I'm going to do that. So there are a couple of things I'm going to do when I post this infographic, all right? Number one is I'm going to write a headline. I'm going to write a subheadline. I'm going to put the infographic here. And then there's going to be a call to action. And I'll put that in later. I might put in a, um, an opt-in form or run a, you know, a little ad or something. All right. So that's pretty much what I have. So all right. So let's see what we have here. I've got the embed code. So I'm going to go in here right now. And that's where the info is, right? So I'm going to paste my embed code there right and now I want to see what that headline was I'm not going to copy it exactly okay it's a real estate guide for it's a real estate marketing inbound guide okay real estate real estate guide to inbound marketing right whoops to inbound you know what, I, for as long as I've been typing, I have never been a good typist. Isn't that terrible? I just never, it's one of those things, I don't know. Okay. All right, so I have, this is going, I have a, a I'm doing this on a page. I'm not doing it on a post. You can do it on a post or a page, and it really doesn't matter. I have a, some software set up for pillar content, so I don't have all kinds of sidebars and stuff. I, I have a special header on my pages for, um, for infographics. And again, you don't have to do that, but I'm taking this very, very seriously, and that's what I want to do. And so I need to do a, a subhead. So I've got an H1 headline over here. I'm going to do an H2 headline. I'm going to say, okay, what is this? Real estate... Um, all right, real inbound marketing has been the buzz. You know, how can you, what is inbound marketing and how can you adapt those principles? All right, so, okay. What is inbound marketing and how 
can real estate agents, all right, though that gives me some keywords, right? Apply. basic principles to get more leads. How about that? And I know, I know, I know some people don't want to hear the word leads. It doesn't sound human and I'm sorry if that's offensive. It's just, you know what, it's the vernacular and I'm, I don't mean anything. I don't mean to dehumanize people. All right? I, leads is kind of the vernacular of, of, um, of advertising and marketing and so Sorry, but that's just, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the word. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and again, I have this, um, it's a page. I'm using a, a neat software for this. It's called Hook Pages. If anybody's interested in that stuff, you know, just contact me. I can share some more about that. I kind of like it. Hold on, let me see. I'm going to copy that because I do this little SEO number down here, all right, where I kind of tell um, inbound marketing, where I tell the search engines what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to publish this. All right, and we'll see what that page looks like when we open that. All right, see here. All right, so we have a page. I, I like this page. I think it's kind of a neat, a neat page. And we have an infographic here. We have the headline. We have the subheadline. And again, this is an H1 tag, H2 tag. This is going to pull, pull. Uh, there is not much here to make to distract people from anything. Um, and the whole objective of having pages like this with this kind of pillar content is for you know to get people to share it so I have share buttons at the top of the page and I have a share bar at the left and if you scroll down okay what you'll see is alright you've got this link back to boomtown here uh, there's a little note here to myself so I'll put a little call to action in there later on I'm not gonna bother with that now I've got a link to my uh, you know a little box here for my uh, my Facebook page, one of my Facebook pages, and here is an embed code and a link to this page. So people are welcome to take this page, and they are welcome to put it on their website. Now this stuff is really really easy to share. I can move this right away over to Pinterest, right? I can pin it. You know how much people love uh, Pinterest. I would probably put this one on my infographics uh, board. And I would pin it, and there it is. So now I have that there. I might go back in a couple of weeks and move stuff from the um, from my Pinterest infographics over to real estate marketing because you can work back and forth with that. So there it is on my Pinterest board. So that you know that's one way of working with uh, with infographics. And my suggestion when you're working with content and you're working with with the uh, with a keyword silo is that you create a bunch of these and and do them in, in a sitting you know create five or six or seven that are rel you know related to each other and then you know work with those and you know then get involved and, and start sharing them in your announcement network whether that is Twitter Facebook your Facebook pages uh, if you do Facebook ads that's uh, that's a good place to share some of this kind of content um, LinkedIn is a great place to share um, tumblr blogger and the other neat place is is over on YouTube now let me show you an example of another one that I did here are some of my infographics let me show you one that I that I picked up over here now this is Couples shacking up, save money on housing. That's my title, by the way. I uh, I picked that. This was a truly a renter survey, and this is about you know people who are co you know unmarried adults cohabiting and what they're doing. Actually, I've got two separate infographics about this from Trulia that are pretty pretty neat they're fun to share people uh, people were sharing they're sharing the other one a little bit more but let me show you what I did with one of them um, with one of them I actually turned it into a YouTube video and I created a YouTube video infographic out of the Trulia infographic so let me show you what that looks like 
it was very, very easy. It just took me a couple of minutes. Two, 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 up to, uh, let me see, it's my shacking up video. Where's the shacking up video? Let's see. Oh, here it is, right here. So I've got a shacking up video here. And I don't know if you can hear that. Um, it's over on, on video. It's just a short minute and 39 second video. And it just takes the facts and puts it into a video. So I, I just created that and put that up and I haven't even started to share that yet. But that's another neat thing that you can do. So when you want to create an infographic, if you want to create your own, um, you can do that. You can do that using Animoto, any of these easy uh, uh, you know, web uh, video devices. If you use WeVideo.com or, or something like that, or if you're you know, using Video FMX, that's really a neat thing because, you, of course, you get all of this, this neat habit uh, animation, and that's a really a lot of fun to use. Um, I did the same thing with the NAR Realtor member profile. I made a video infographic about that. So that's one of the things that I'm doing here as far as uh, you know, working with pillar content. So let's see here. Video engagement boards. Oh, yeah, so let me show you one more example of an engagement board. And this is going to be interesting to some of you, I know. Um, let me close out some of these windows. I don't need them all. And go back to my website. Go back to the main page here. Whoopsie daisy. Go back to the page, and then what I'm going to do is show you something else. Um, and it's another type of engagement board. So, you know, we've all seen, of course, uh, Pinterest and Moe's and Mashable, and, and everything is very, very pinnable. Well, this is something that I have uh, discovered to be very, very productive exercise because I have these engagement boards over here. These are kind of like top 10 pages. And again, these are done with, uh, with pages. Uh, I'm going to show you an example of, uh, let's see, marketing technology for real estate agents. So I've got, and, and this is something that I've done, which is primarily, um, you know, affiliate product stuff that I use that I recommend. So as an alternative to saying, okay, these are my favorite tools and writing a blog post and throwing in a couple of pictures, I have this kind of a page that lets me, you know, handle it visually very, very different. It's totally responsive. It's very, very mobile. And it lets me work with a picture, a headline, some text, and then a link. I'm getting really, really good Google juice to this. I mean, this is giving me a lot of a lot of traffic, and you can do a top ten on anything. Um, I'm doing this with a tech not with a technology that's called WP Profit Magnet. I like the technology so much, I actually licensed it, and I'm actually I, I even sell it myself right now. So I'm working with it very closely with the developer, and uh, and it's and it's just it's dynamite. So I let me show you a couple more of these walls just to show you what it looks like. Um, because actually I'm giving a bunch of these away. Uh, in fact, this is going to be one of the prizes that we're going to have at the end of the day here um, to somebody on the call. So let me, yeah, this is a good one. I, I went to Google and I double checked and I wanted to see what were my most popular pages on my website. And so I took the top 10 pages and these are, you know, these are the pages that get the most, uh, the best SEO where I, you know, get the most, um, landings and uh, and I, so I put them all here and then what I did as a, and I, I took it down it was an experiment for a temporary one for about a week but on each one of these pages I put a little banner at the top I said click here to see the 10 most popular pages on my website and so I sent people to this page and then they started clicking on, on, on all these pages and it's, it's been quite fascinating to watch so again these are just the 10 most popular pages so I didn't have to really create any content I just had to go and create this wall, which is a, it's called a, a wall, uh, you know, as opposed to pages and posts, you know, what a page is, and we know what a post is. Well, this is, is called a wall, and it's kind of like a pin wall. Um, and so it just takes a few minutes to do that. And that has been very, very productive. So that's called profit, uh, WP Profit Magnet. And, uh, and what I'm going to be doing, actually, is, uh, is sharing that, and, and I'll show you in a couple of minutes. So somebody on the call today is going to get one, actually. Uh, I'm going to pick a name 
shortly here, as soon as we're finished. So hang hang in there because I've got some, you know, I've, I do have that prize, and I will be sending everybody who registered, you know, copies of all of my my decks and um, and and the videos and and some other stuff. I actually have a couple. I'm giving away, throwing in a couple of. Uh, of plugins and, and stuff that you can have some fun with. I've got a smiley plug-in, and I've got some public domain graphics, I have a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm going to be sending that along. So let me just show you here, again, because we talked about finding out what the Google clues were, right? That was one of the things we wanted to do, and then we talked about uh, creating pillar content that we just talked about. And we're going to go back to this here now, how to use smart automation. I'm going to show you here, um, the stuff I'm using right now, the stuff I'm most excited about, and this is, you know, really interesting. And uh, and I, you know, I, I'm sure that by the time this year is finished, this this particular piece, this particular plugin, is going to be the one that I call the most important. I'm I'm seeing right now that it has it's evolving into the, the most important piece of of uh, software that I have because it's making things very very easy. It's letting me repurpose content in great volume and very, very quickly, and it's letting me create new websites also very, very quickly. So it's called P1 Traffic Machine, and it's really, really cheap. This is one of those deals where it is being offered on a launch right now. It's only up for another day or so, and it's it's very, very cheap, and then it goes to, you know, $500 at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the launch, which I think is tomorrow or Wednesday, um, but it's really, really cheap right now. So um, I, you know, I wasn't planning to do this as a... Uh, kind of a pitchy kind of a thing, but I'll be honest with you, I, it, I would have felt really, really crummy if I didn't share. I had some people asking me about that, and I thought it's important enough that I know people will be looking at this, people will be buying it, it will be you know, sold at retail, maybe at a slight discount after that. But uh, you know, I didn't talk about it, but I, I am absolutely, totally, totally loving it. Um, there is a very, very good um, demo on the site, and there are some people who are already working in, in, in real estate and using this. I'm going to be doing some case studies behind the scenes with, with those folks. And so for anybody who purchases it, that's one of the, one of the things you're going to get. Um, one of the things it does, again, it's, you can set up a blog. You can set up the whole keyword structure on a blog literally in two minutes. In two minutes. Um, there is a really neat range of choices about how to work with this stuff from totally automatic to to, to manual um, and I don't like anything that's totally automatic I like to make choices about what I'm doing but and I like that it gives me that choice it also has a really neat content curation uh, uh, feature that lets you import stuff from Yahoo Answers and, and other places and uh, my friend Peter who is, who is the developer here is doing a really super duper job with this um, and I'll, I'll give you a little hint. Um, there, he, he sells it. Usually, he, he most of his stuff comes with three different kinds of licenses. You can buy, you know, a, a small license for one or two blogs or whatever, and a medium license enterprise. At you know, it's still cheap, cheap, cheap. The the, the, the best model. And I got a surprise uh, yesterday because, of course, I got the enterprise edition. And he's throwing in a bonus that is a traffic, some traffic software that is just to die for and it's you know it's like $500 worth of stuff that that he's doing he's having a very very successful launch this is one of those guys who really stands behind his product that the training is awesome absolutely awesome I've learned more from this guy in the past couple of years than I have learned from anyone and I am just just I couldn't recommend anybody higher in terms of working what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving anybody who who buys that with my link? I'm going to give them my my entire social media policy manual system, and it's it, it. There is a broker implementation guide. I'm getting ready for the for the next update. There are some updates for the guide and the implementation guide. I'm also doing the broker implementation guide in ebook form. So if you have a Kindle or a Nook or any kind of an e-reader, it will be compatible with all e-readers. And I'm also going to be publishing it on Amazon. There's training involved, and you get lifetime updates. So that's kind of, that, that, that's a neat thing. The other thing that I'm going to be giving away is a license to this software that I'm talking about here, this P1 Content Magnet. Um, and that uh, WP, con no, I'm sorry, WP Profit Magnet. And, uh, and there's a link to it on my, let me see, there's a link to it on my website if you want to go and take a look at the, um, 
that I have a WP profit magnet actually mine is WP profit magnet dot us and you can check it out and see what it uh, what it looks like looks like I've got too much going here at uh, streaming for my Google hangout here I don't want to push my luck too much but you can you can check that out um, in the meantime you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do a little pop in if you take a look what am I doing here hold on I'm going to go back online here. If you take a look at the top right of your screen, you're going to see a pop-in. And I'm going to pop it in. There's a link to this um, to this traffic machine. You can see what that looks like. So at any rate, I think that's that's a very, very neat thing to do. And as I say, I think that this, the, this is shaping up to be the most important and impactful Software that I've uh, that I've come across this year. There's some really good stuff coming out, um, you know. And again, one of the things I do is I follow these launches. I follow these these marketing launches. I get a lot of stuff, you know. I've got, I guess I am, have uh, uh, that affliction known as shiny object syndrome. But it's it's a productive thing. So what I do is I I buy a lot of stuff and I don't use everything because a lot of it is frankly just garbage and uh, and the stuff that is not good is you know I don't want to use it um, and I don't recommend it so I won't do that um, but this this is very very good so I would recommend that you take a look at that um, again I'm going to be you know I'll be around um, if anybody has any questions I'm looking here there's a question about the video stuff yes indeed it's coming on the market again yeah it is um, yes I will I will be sending a note about that it's called video maker FX and it's a very neat uh, video creation uh, system and it will be something that you want to take a look at I do have a link I have actually created um, a whole bunch of real estate videos that I'm offering as a bonus for people who, who get the system so if you get video maker FX you get the project file for a whole bunch of of, uh, of real estate videos which is which is really neat um, they just had an update to their software so I am working with the update and I'm getting that out to everybody everybody who had purchased the last round will be getting their their project files and, and information tomorrow so that's pretty neat and it's again that's you know it's just cheap stuff so you know if you're interested or if you're ever looking at stuff you know if you're looking and you have a question about some of this kind of technology you're know, welcome to contact me and ask me what I think about it I do a lot of affiliate I have a lot of affiliate relationships with people so sometimes I can I can get access to stuff at uh, at good prices or or have you know bonuses for stuff and a lot of my bonuses are very very real estate specific so we are coming up to the top of the hour here I'm not going to take too much more of your time this is the last breath of Memorial Day weekend it is also my birthday and uh, and I've been working here again I, uh, I this has been a labor of love this has been really a neat uh, neat system to work with and uh, and I hope that you use words like keyword silo in your thought process when you're blogging you know I hope you're thinking about keyword silo, uh, silos about relevant content about different ways to use your content you know if you if you have stuff that you have created just repurpose it you know take the articles and turn the articles into a video turn the articles into an infographic turn the articles into a video infographic if you have any any questions about that, you know, just pop a, pop me a note. I will be create. You know, I'll be on I'll be online a lot. I'll be I'll be doing a lot more hangouts. I'll be here. And if you have questions about hangouts, that's uh, I'm a good person to talk to there. I've done everything wrong that could be done wrong on a hangout. I continue to do things wrong. It's a, you know it's an ever changing landscape. Google is changing things all the time. You know, always every time you think you have just got it. You know. The, the button that was at the top on the right all of a sudden is at the bottom on the left, you know, and, and, and everything is, is, is different. So I hope you have a really great rest of the day. If you have any, any questions about anything, pop me an email, and I will see you. And I, you know, I wish you a, hope you have a great productive week. Go out and just knock them dead in your market and blog and prosper and blog smart and make, you know, make your blogging count. Don't, don't, don't make it a waste of time. You know, do it right. You know, do it right and make Google fall in love with you. 
make Google fall in love with you and then people will come and they will call you to help them. You know, the, uh, you know, a lot of people who are, there are a lot of people who are really good with the online stuff who really aren't the people that, that I would call to be showing me houses. In fact, there are some people who are really great with online technology who I wouldn't let show me a dog house, I'll be honest. Um, so at any rate, go get the, you know, get the uh, the business that you deserve, and, and and go do that and do that right. So take care, and I'll I'll see you soon.